Oh hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can create a animated dashed line inside HitFilm. Now we all know how to create an animated line. We can just do that by creating a new plane layer and let's call this line, give it a white color and click on okay. And then what we do is go to the transform, set the anchor point to the left edge of this plane layer. So I'm gonna set this to negative 960, which just moves this anchor point to the left edge of this layer and then we can type in negative 960, which will bring it back to its original position. And then what we do is we just scale it down on the Y, unlink the scale, and uh, we can just, you know, animate it by creating a keyframe, setting the first value to zero, and we can move forward to two second, and like we can increase it to any value we want. So we have an animated line. Now uh, to create a dashed line, uh, we have to do things but differently so let's do that let me just undo everything so i can just reset this back to the default by selecting this layer hit command r or Control r on your keyboard or you can just right click and click on reset so everything is back to the default values now what we have to do is create a new point layer and uh, we're going to call this start and we'll create another point layer or just duplicate this and call this end so this will be your point A and point B. So I'm going to position these two. So let's just position it somewhere over here. And the end point, let's put it somewhere over here. Now for the first effect that we'll be using, basically there are two methods. I'm going to show you both. The first one is going to be, we'll use a light sword two point auto effect. Let's drag that in. And here we just want to change some settings over here. So the first thing is the blend to none and then we can go to hilt and tip set the hilt position to start and the tip position to end and under the tip we have the position over here and we're going to make sure that this value is set to zero so now it's going to point a to point b and then we'll just go to the core and here you can change the feather make sure that it is set to zero and stability is set to 100 then let's go to the inner glow and make sure that the width is set to zero now you can see that there is some animation already going on in this line of ours so we can make sure that the distortion is set to zero so that there will be no animation at all all right pretty cool now we can animate this line by animating the extension so we can create a keyframe at the 31st frame go to two second and um, actually it should be 100 at the second frame the second keyframe should be 100 and the first one should be at zero so that it goes from point A to point B. And you can just, you know, control the width over here as well if you want. I'm just going to keep it as it is for now. Now for the dashed line effect, you have to apply another effect called uh, grid. Search for grid and apply it on the line layer. And the grid, we have to just make sure that the blend is set to stenciled alpha and then we'll just increase the border radius. So you can see we have a dashed line. That is looking pretty good. Uh, now the next step is we have the line over here and I want this to animate it. Right now it's pretty static. Nothing is happening. I want these dashed lines to move in to the right direction or to the left. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can expand the line layer, go to the transform section of this layer and we're just going to scale it up to 150%. So something like that. And then we're going to make sure our playhead is at the very first frame. Make sure the right edge, we'll just move it all the way to the left. So just keep it somewhere over here. Create a keyframe on position. And we can move forward to maybe about four second and just change the position or you can hit control and click on this value and it will just swap the sign and just move to the opposite direction. So we'll have an animation like this and you'll see you'll get the animated line effect as well. So you can just control the length by just dragging the second keyframe wherever you want and it will keep on animating. Uh, so this is the first method. The second one is what we can do is go to the effects and search for lightning and electricity effect, apply it on the layer and just make sure that this lightning and electricity effect is on top of the grid effect turn off the light sword effect and under lightning and electricity we'll set the blend to none and uh, we will change the wave scale to zero and twitch scale to zero as well go to the branches and set that to zero as well 
let's go to the start and make sure that the start point is zero and zero use layer and set that to start and do the same thing on the end as well make sure it's zero and zero and then parent it to the end point then what we can do is just turn off some settings let's go to the glow and reduce the opacity all the way down to zero you can control the color inside the core over here uh, let's go to the animation reduce that all the three sliders to zero and then we're just going to make sure that the width on the start and the end is the same so on the start the width is set to one and in the end we'll set the same value which will be one and there you go there you have a dashed line animating from left to right that's it for this video i hope this video was helpful if it was then please do like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one